second supplementary, the member from Simcoe Gray. The speaker, back to the minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the shortage of long-term term care beds in my riding is shocking. At Simcoe Manor in Beaton, there are 181 people on the wait list. At Good Samaritan in Alliston, there are 100 people waiting. At Bayhaven in Collingwood, there are 58 on the list. At the Collingwood Nursing Home, there are 37. At the Stainer Nursing Home, there are 49. The list at the Sunset Manor in Collingwood is 196 people. And at Creedon Valley in Creemore, the wait list is 18. Mr. Speaker, is the government going to fix this problem, or is it going to continue to let seniors go without the care they need? Thank you. Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, we're investing in 5,000 new long-term care beds across this province over the next four years. If the member opposite is looking for a solution and looking to see how we're addressing it, we are addressing it by that substantial new investment. In fact, it's probably the level of the investment when you look at our even bigger target of 30,000 new beds over the next decade. That is a tremendous, almost unprecedented, I would argue unprecedented investment in our long-term care system. Now, we've been doing capacity planning to establish and understand with our partners, uh, with patients and clients and families, as well as the, their <laughs> advocates and experts, our partners in the long-term care ho home system, to determine precisely where those investments should occur. And we've indicated that, for example, it should address the ALC issue, where individuals are in hospital but do not Answer. need to be in hospital. It needs to address the unique challenges faced by First Nations and other indig Indigenous communities. It needs to address rural and small towns as well. Final supplementary, member from Stormont.